Hey guys, on today's show, I am going to teach the ladies how to give their man a prostate orgasm. First of all, I think this is the most underrated, undervalued, erogenous male zone, very neglected, and this is due to the beliefs associated with anything that has to do with the Botox. But if you could just bring yourself to the realization that you could be helping your man to not just climax in ways other than penetration or giving him a hand job, but also realizing that you're helping reduce his chances of developing prostate cancer I think it would be much more appealing to you to do this I mean it's like killing two birds with one stone <laughs> mm. lemon ginger garlic tea so let's get right into it shall we now welcome back if this is your first time here welcome to my channel my name is Jane Lawrence aka Juicy Jane I come with a lot of juice now you may be wondering what's a prostate orgasm and how do I make it happen for my guy how do I make it happen for my man how do I intensify his orgasm other than you know penile or penial is it penile orgasm whichever way now ladies listen the prostate is a gland that is about the size of a walnut and it just sits deep in your man's groin between the base of his penis and the rectum and that spot is to men what the G spot is to women so in other words the sensitive gland is located within the man's body within what within your man's body and it helps propel cement from the penis plus it contains tones of nerve endings making it a perfect target for pleasure so see what you've been missing out on and that's why it's nicknamed the G spot or the male P spot not all men are comfortable with your rectum being you know penetrated but for some men it can be potentially a total pleasure center all right so first you need to know if he's totally down he's totally cool with being explored that way or not before you begin don't just introduce your finger in there to prevent any root shock now of course biologically the prostate produces semen but sexually and erotically it functions in a way that can potentially heighten pleasure for any man that's I think that's one of the reasons why you know gay men enjoy anal sex so if your man is comfortable with you exploring his prostate plus he's capable of relaxing and enjoying the stimulation then this is where you ought to begin this is where your next port of action or your next port of call um, begins now ladies note that the way to get to the prostate is sticking your finger or a toy of about you know an inch and a half or one quarter of your knuckle or two um, inches of your finger into his butt I know I know <laughs> now this will add a sensation of fullness and pleasure that will in turn maximize the intensity of orgasm for any man I hope you're following it's not such a bad idea really so now that we know where the prostate is located plus if you're intrigued by the thought of exploring you know this new territory with your man then here are some of my tips on how to make a prostate orgasm happen for him number one try to help your partner relax this is so important because the anus has two sphincters and they can tighten up and close in when you try to insert anything so the way to gain entrance and invitation is to really relax the whole of your man's body you could start with a central massage now women if you haven't yet learned how to massage your man or massage anyone at all please go on YouTube and learn you could even pay to learn pay for a class to do so even the men you should learn it y'all should y'all need it on this journey called love because it's really stressful sometimes and you just need to treat them to a really cool sensual massage but nevertheless the goal here isn't necessarily to turn your partner on but to help him feel totally comfortable and relaxed okay so my number two is try some anal foreplay <laughs> Mm. Mm. now once you figure out that your partner feels chilled right you can ease your way in but if you've never done anal play before then I advise that 
you approach his rectum respectfully and slowly. No rush. First and foremost, play with a full buttocks his inner thighs first and then move on to play with the outer rim of the opening of his anus the outside of the anus the rim okay now number three make sure to have lube because the anus is not self lubricating so make sure that there is a lot of lube no matter what and i recommend that you pick up a lubricant that is specifically designed for anal play since the formula for anal play tend to be a lot thicker and can you know last a bit longer because you don't want to hurt his rectum while you're trying to find a prostate plus you want to give him a good experience by gliding through easily all right oh yes i forget please trim your nails shut ladies in the name of whatever you believe or whatever you hold dear if you have fixed artificial nails please don't go near his butthole I, I doubt any man will let you poke his buttocks with that kind of be kind of crazy nails all right so file your fingernails and wash your hands too you don't want to introduce foreign germs in there and before you know it he starts to itch or he starts to bleed you don't want that you want a good experience for him number four choose what tools you are comfortable with of course the best way to stimulate the prostate is either with your finger or with a prostate toy basically a slim butt plug but i think the finger is a lot better so that you know and you feel the spot accurately but if you're hesitant about your fingers being in there even if he took a shower you know and that idea still makes you feel a little bit squeamish you can use a toy it can still do the job but i prefer that you use your fingers right you could use um a glove but make sure that you have lots of lube in there and um you know just massage but then again, there are lots of prostate toy massages out there. So visit a sex toy and uh, a sex toy shop and find out for yourself, all right? Number five, massage the prostate. So to make a prostate orgasm happen, you have got to go super slowly. Especially if this is your first time or this is the first time for you and your partner and both of you are looking to trying that technique, right? Once you're inside, feel for the prostate gland, which is about like one knuckle worth into the rectum and then move in the direction of his penis like you're moving towards his navel with your palm up, your palm facing up, right? It, it, kind, of, it kind of feels like a pillowy ball, a soft pillowy ball. So once you've found it, apply pressure and try stroking it slowly and keep communicating with your partner about how it feels with them and take a cue from him on whether you know to stroke or to apply more pressure or to go slower or to go faster or to put more or less intense pressure on it just be consistent and watch for his face on whether he likes it or it's pretty much uncomfortable for him but whatever way you do it just be prepared for some Be prepared, be, 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 be prepared for a whole new level of orgasm, all right? <laughs> hmm. Because this orgasm is different from the penile um, orgasm. It rocks, pr prostate orgasm rocks the entire body of a man. It rocks the entire body. It runs through the entire body. So it's a lot more intense. It's the same, it's similar to the penile, but it's, you know, it rocks the body, the whole, the entire body. He feels it through his entire body. Do you get what I mean? And also it's important to know that although entering through, you know, the anus is the most direct way, you can also stimulate the prostate indirectly through the perineum. Now you might be asking, what's a perineum? Where can you locate the perineum? The perineum is the skin that runs underneath the scrotum to the anus. It's just the skin between the anus and the penis or the scrotum do you get and being aroused makes it swell. So the more turned on your man is before you poke in, the easier it becomes for you to feel it. So let's assume that you want to massage his prostate from the outside, right? 
just take note that the perineum is firmer and it's near the front of the penile bob which is the inner ending of the shaft now it feels softer and fleshier towards the back this is the area you're aiming for the what the softer and the more fleshy part of the perineum is what we are aiming for right you may not be able to actually feel the gland from outside but touching it will likely cause a sensation of needing to pee for the man now men this is a sign that you're where you want to be trust me if you feel like you want to pee this is where you ought to be I'm talking to the men now but from the inside the gland feels like a fleshy bulb of tissue on the front wall of the rectal lining and it feels different from every other kind of tissue in there so you will know it when you feel it do you get what I mean you would know it exactly when you feel it okay so I hope this was helpful and please do let me know if you've ever experienced prostate orgasm before or if you've ever given your man this type of experience and to all the women out there who know how to give a man this kind of orgasm I say well done you're doing a good job right now until next time keep living the fab life Mwah.